The iPhone is one of the best-selling smartphone brand from Apple. Since the launch of the first iPhone back in 2008, we have seen many iPhones. iOS is the Apple's mobile operating system which built on top of OS X powers iPhone. iOS is one of the popular and advanced mobile operating system or primary competitor of Android. So okay, let's get into the point of the video. The video is all about how to repair your iPhone by fixing a various iOS system issues that could have occurred to your device. Of course, you can use iTunes, that's a traditional way of doing, but sometimes iTunes doesn't suit everywhere, especially if your iOS device stuck at major issues. Today I came across an amazing iTunes alternative tool called iSkySoft Toolbox Repair which helps to fix a lot of system issues of iOS. Let's get started. Anyway, go ahead and check the link in the description down below and the first link will take you to their website where you can load the software to your PC or MacBook. Go ahead and download this tool and open it. Remember, it needs iTunes to be installed which contains the necessary drivers of your iPhone and make sure it is not running in the background while you're working with this software. Now inside this, you can see there are tons of options available for you. You can see this option or select this option to unlock the iPhone if you have forgotten the passcode. For now, I will select the repair tool option from here and as you can see there are a list of possible issues which could be a fix of your iOS system using this tool. This is the beauty of this tool which is more informative than any other iTunes alternative. So choose one of the issues regarding your iPhone and connect it to your PC. So in this case, I will select this option called a stuck at recovery mode and click on start. So then it will detect the device automatically. The issue we are having requires to put the iPhone into DFU mode. So which means it won't work unless if you don't put the device in DFU mode. As you can see, this software is a proactive which guides you how to put the iPhone into a DFU mode. You don't need to uh, Google it, just follow the on-screen instructions. If you own iPhone 7 or higher models, follow these options. Now I will gonna be click on the start button then immediately I need to put the iPhone into a DFU mode. So in this case, the iPhone 6, I will keep holding the power, plus home button for 8 seconds, then release power, and keep holding the home button until the software detects the device firmware update. Now, as you can see, it's actually detected the firmware update automatically, and make sure you have a right firmware selected based on the model number. Now, it is currently showing iOS 12.1 firmware, so which is what currently Apple is being signed. So once everything is set, you can simply click on download button to download the latest firmware update. Alternatively, you can download the IPSW image from the IPSW.me website and place it somewhere inside the desktop on your computer. So I will select this option which will help me to sideload the firmware update. Simply a click on this option and look for the path where you have copied the IPSW image and click on start scan to start verifying the firmware. Now you can see it's actually detected the valid firmware. You can check this option to retain native data. So in some scenarios, you need to uncheck this option and factory reset it by installing a latest firmware onto it. And then click on fix now. Now I'm gonna leave the computer alone and wait for a few minutes to fix the issues of your iOS system. So this could take a less than 10 minutes. Sit back and relax and don't interrupt your iPhone. And that's it and now you can see all of the data is not erased and as you can see I have an apps on the home screen which is not deleted and that's it and if you're looking for the best iTunes alternative tool which helps to fix any iOS system issues try this software so just saying in, in any case iTunes don't work for you just go ahead and use this tool to fix the issues yourself and to learn more about it check the links in the description down below thanks for watching this has been KSK so far peace